mortgage aid program and the housing bottom. Jobs and the housing market are two significant factors in economic recovery. The job market has shown slight signs of improvement but real estate prices have continued to drop. This trend is troublesome because while housing affects GDP, it's an indicator of personal wealth. When home prices escalate, wealth increases and that leads to more confidence in the economy. With no economic signs indicating any types of improvement in the housing market, things look somewhat grim. This is why experts have been concerned with lowering home values. They have been eagerly awaiting either government involvement in housing market issues or the time when the market would hit bottom and begin inching upwards. Are we at the housing bottom yet? However, a few reports that have surfaced have led many analysts to be optimistic that the bottom has been reached. In a report from Zillow Incorporated, prices, while in decline since the beginning of 2012, showed an increase in the month of March. This has led Zillow to predict that the housing market will bottom either by late 2012 or early 2013. In addition, Zillow indicated that in larger markets, where prices have reached bottom, increased rental costs and lower mortgages are contributing to stabilizing housing prices. This should help the housing market to find its footing. The second report was from the National Association of Realtors Pending Sales Index. This predicted a jump in contract signing of around 4% in the month of March. This brought contract signings to a yearly total to 101.4%. Anything over 100% indicates a robust housing market add to that the fact that first quarter closings of homes were higher than they've been in the last five years. The question is, does this mean the housing market has reached bottom? While it's possible, housing experts have heard this before. So there's reason to be skeptical. Financial columnist Barry Wright-Hotz had this to say about why the housing market hasn't hit rock bottom. While he points to many things, he cites four reasons why it hasn't happened yet. There is still too massive of a backlog of homes in foreclosure with high unemployment and tightening lending practices, buyers can't obtain mortgages to buy homes. With no income growth, consumers are unable to increase their spending and aren't buying homes. Homes, like other commodities, don't simply stabilize. A big fall usually means a slide into worse than predicted territory. All the housing aid in the world wouldn't stop this from happening. While experts would judge the housing market from a price standpoint as being fair, it's likely things will get much cheaper in order to get consumers back into buying homes. Some people feel that the right hot's analysis of the housing market is simply too negative. While that may be true, virtually everyone has said the housing market has hit bottom and they've all been wrong. It's also important to remember that even if the housing market has reached bottom, there's no guarantee prices will increase immediately. Unemployment issues may be a significant drag on the housing market going forward.